Our Archicad tip of the week uh, this week is railing with equal balusters per tread. We'll go ahead and take you through that. So if you want to create a rail that follows the stair and you want to have equal numbers of uh, balusters, balusters here at each tread spaced uh, equally and exactly the same distance on each one and then having one at the end, this is the way you would do it. Uh, first, you're going to select a railing. Um, and then you're going to open it up the settings. And you're going to go to segment. Remember I talked about this earlier. You're going to set the pattern length to the number of treads. You're then going to select the bottom rail, this one right there, okay, uh, and click the minus button in the upper right corner and do the same with the handrail. So in other words, you're not going to have a uh, bottom rail because you want that to go all the way down to the actual tread. Uh, you're then going to uh, uh, go down to our um, pattern here, distribution and position. And we're going to use three divisions, okay? So that it's going to create three divisions per tread. Uh, we then want to um, go into our nodes here, and we want to actually set this to entering a node offset of six inches so that we actually have an offset there uh, for that as well. Once that's done, it's going to set all these uh, up uh, accordingly. And then we just need to set what we want this end of um, uh, baluster, how, how we want that to work. So we need to go into edit mode. So we're going to click you know, the, the uh, rail. We're going to click to um, uh, the edit button. And then that will uh, allow us to enter the edit mode uh, option. And then we're going to select that end rail. And you'll notice the end rail kind of stops right here at the edge. We want that to continue all the way down to the floor. So we're going to click the end rail. Then we're going to go Control T or click the rail um, button here. Once we've done that, we're going to change the um, option here to, uh, for the bottom end of post to horizontal. And then we're going to, to set this to be an offset there at the end to minus seven inches. Uh, minus is important. Uh, I, you know, when I originally started doing this, I thought, oh, I should put seven inches in there. It didn't do anything. It wants to be minus. So that minus will then push it out uh, so that it is actually uh, set to be an offset of minus seven inches or whatever you want that to be from the end of that rail. And that is our tip of the week for this week.